Guys, you <laughs> we have to give you the story later, but this is what we're looking at. I have my lights on this guy right here. We're basically warning people that's coming down the hill that there's a crashed vehicle. We'll get into the backstory when we finish talking to the cops. So we went up this mountain next to Joanna's house. The mountain is called... Nambaldi. We were not Nambaldi, okay? We were driving back down, nice and cool. We were cruising. So we just had a big ass dinner because it was Josh's birthday, right? Her sister's boyfriend's birthday. So we went for dinner. We went to we went to a buffet. That was a buffet, really good. yeah. Twenty five bucks, all you can eat. Can you imagine that? Okay, it's beside the point. Beside the point. We go up Mount Baldy because we want to get some fresh air. We want to hang out, not necessarily hang out, but kind of just like unwind. You know, at the end of the day, you're kind of just like driving around, unwinding. We went for a little cruise. We get up. If you guys ever go to Mount Baldy, it's like a it's it's like windy, but it's not like crazy where you see like those car commercials where it's like crazy. It's like a normal mountain, normal it's mountain. It's a little mountain road. And then and it comes up to a little village where they have like a diner and stuff like that. We turned around over there because I don't want to go up into the hill. We bust a U. We're coming back down the hill. Driving down the hill slower than usual, probably like 25 miles per hour in a 35. Just because when you're coming down the hill, you can see like an overlook of like the city and stuff like that. We were watching these helicopters that weren't moving. I know, because we're on a UF. We're on like a UFO UF 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 right now. Where we just want to see something cool. But they were just helicopters. We're coming down, and all of a sudden, I think I saw... I saw the car first. She saw the car, but I saw like the hazard lights on the back of the car. And there's this girl standing in the middle of the street. And she had blood on, her, on the top of her face right here. And I was like, oh, god damn, like... I just wanted to relax, dude. I was and already by, out the door. Dude, by the time I was in my head, like, I just wanted to relax, drive down. I need to take a piss so bad. She was already outside the, the <laughs> like, the, my car was still moving. She, the door was open and her body was already out of the car. And she's like, are you okay? Like, asking this girl questions. Like, I didn't really see that much because she went and talked to them. But so this is where the car is. This is the, the main road. It's like oncoming and, you know, whatever. And then I parked on the other side right here. And I faced them. I turned on my amber lights. So she's doing like Dr. Reno 911 or something like that over there on the other side. Telling this girl to sit down and whatnot. And then how, where, when did that other guy come? I didn't even see the other guy. Some guy in a BMW came out of nowhere. He was a firefighter for Mount Baldy. Okay, you're skipping a bunch of steps. So tell them. I've been a bunch of steps. So I get out of the car. Automatically, you can smell alcohol on them. You can smell it. And she was like, oh no, the guy starts heading towards the back seat to the back to, door. You don't have to talk that loud. Shut up. He starts going to the back seat, trying to get in the car, saying, can you just drop us off at home? We're, we need to go home. And I was like, no, you need to go to a hospital because the girl looked Dude. bad. She looked the, bad. Um, they kept saying driving to Kaiser. No, they kept saying, the girl kept saying, we live on 24th, just take us to 24th. And I'm like, no, we need to wait for an ambulance. Cause, Dude, and that's this is I, the f***ed up part, right? This is the f***ed up part. You and the two drunk mother kept looking at me like, You gonna drop us off? And I'm just there like this. In my head, I was like, I'm, you just no, crashed. I said no. I kept telling him no. I, in my head, I was like, "Fuckers just crashed. Your sister has blood on her face. You, I don't know what the fuck you're doing, but my back seat's full. I got mad laundry <laughs> back there to begin with. I was not lying about that. I have mad laundry stuff back there. And second of all, I'm not gonna put two random ass. I thought there were skinwalkers. <laughs> I was just saying that. I thought there were skinwalkers. I've seen too many fucking TikTok where there's skinwalkers. I was not going to deal with that. <laughs> but anyways. No, and then I looked at you and said, can you try to call 911? I couldn't get service there. But as soon as I crossed, <laughs> I was able to talk to like four different branches of the sheriff's department. Anyways, so I'm trying to get her to sit down because she just kept repeating the same thing over and over. We live on... No, we know this road. Like this is... Oh, this they kept saying this is how our brother died. And I was just like... Don't say that. If that's how your brother died, are you really gonna drink in a car and drive um, again? She she just kept saying, "Oh, we're on 
we know how the mountain is and i was like okay yeah i think every local because if you know baldy glendora mountain road is attached to baldy road so you get a bunch of street racers going up there so you kind of know you if you're local you know the stories of people losing control and it's it, it's all bad so for her to be like oh we know the mountain and that's just how it is i was like mm, no no, <laughs> no. no, no, no. <laughs> you guys got drunk, lost control, and crashed. Yeah, they said that someone pulled out in front and stopped, and so they tried to swerve out of the way. And I'm still trying to figure out how they hit, because the front of the car was completely smashed in. All of the airbags were deployed in the car, all of them. Because mm -hmm. I was trying to, like, look, and I tried to push it in neutral because it was still, like, almost still on the road. So I was trying to see if we could move it out of the way. That thing was stuck. When you looked at the car. No, but, like, even, like, it smashed in, but you can still move the gear. But like, did you see the front tire? The whole thing was bent forward. Like, this is, this is the front of a car right here, the tires. But the tires were, like, shifted forward. So, like, the whole engine, wherever, was, like, shifted forward because I don't know what they hit, honestly. They had to have hit the mountain. Well, well, no. So the guy gets on the phone with the mom and the guy starts freaking out like we need to go to the hospital and the mom's freaking out because all he, all she hears is we need to go to the hospital. She's hurt. And yeah. So the mom starts freaking out and I was like, let me talk to her. I was like, I, I can calm her down. And I was like, you know, they're both okay, but she's pretty banged up. Um, Can you call 911? She says, I already called them. They're on their way, but where are you? So I kind of had to give her a little rundown of where we were and so she was like okay i'll be right there not even like what like two minutes later um she calls back she was already coming up the mountain so i was like they live relatively close yeah she was already coming up the mountain she's like okay i'm starting to go up the mountain and you know she starts asking me again where are they and i was like just pass this and we're right there and that's when chp called this guy's phone so i'm like you know what chp's calling let me answer and she's like okay fine so i talked to chp they're asking me where where are we and I was like, just go up Baldy Road. Yeah. Because it's one way up. That's it. And she's like, okay, what are the intersections? They were there, asking me the same thing. There are no intersections. It's one way up. And she's like, no, but there needs to be an intersection. I was like, no, there's no intersections. Mm -hmm. I was like, it's just a Baldy Road. CHP asks like the actual questions that they need to know, like the coordinates. Mm -hmm. But like the other dispatchers were asking for the cross streets. Yeah, there are no cross streets. Yeah. And so that's when I run over to you and I'm like what are what's that last street because I know you can go up Baldy Road from the Claremont side and you can go up Baldy Road from Shin Road from Altaloma so I was looking for the name of Shin Road I couldn't remember off the top of my head but I know there was a road and I was like okay I can give her that so that's when I started looking at my maps and I was like okay it's Shin Road and she hears you giving coordinates and she's like wait is he giving coordinates I was like yeah he's on the phone with another dispatcher giving coordinates she's like oh okay and She's like listening, and then that's when the guy comes like, "Can I have my phone back?" And I was like, "I'm on the phone. They're on their way." He was like, "Who's on their way?" And he I got said, so scared. Yeah, he did not want us to call the cops. They got scared because they were drinking. They were drinking. I don't tolerate drinking and driving. Like I can't. One hundred percent. I feel like I smell like alcohol right now. Like the smell is like in still it in my nostrils. It smelled like tequila when you guys came over to my car. It, like it's still in my nostrils. I can still smell it. They had to have thrown up or something in the car when they crashed. Or mm -hmm. Something. No, no, they didn't. Or the alcohol probably like went everywhere. I don't know if you guys have ever smelled the powder from the airbags. It's like a pretty distinct smell. Um, There's a powder on airbags? Yeah. I had no idea. So it's the smell of that with alcohol that's stuck in my nose. It was like, ugh. What kind of powder is in an it's airbag? It's not powder, but it's like the, the air that makes it go pfft. Oh, like the system that blows out and the airbag. And it comes out white sometimes. You can see it. Oh. Yeah, because when I looked at their car, I'm pretty sure we can put the picture on the screen of the car. Mm -hmm. You see all the, I saw all the airbags. The all whole, the airbags the were whole deployed. The whole thing was like deployed. So they hit it really hard. They hit Were they going really up hard. or coming down? I think they were going up. I don't know. I think they're coming down. I don't know though. I don't know. Because the way they hit the, it was a RAV4. It was like a new RAV4, like 2022. When you look at the front engine, it smashed like direct like forward you know what i think they were doing i think they were in that indent where i parked mm -hmm. they were probably drinking and then when they 
pulled out, maybe a car was driving normal and they just got scared and hit the mountain. I don't know. Oh, I didn't tell you. The guy was on the phone with the mom. He just kept saying, we hit the car like their brother did before. I won't say the name, but he kept saying like their brother that we went over the mound like their brother is what he kept saying. And that's when the mom like was freaking out. And that's when I took the phone. The brother? The brother that they said died up there. Damn, that got creepy then. What the hell are they talking about? That's what I was saying. Like, I didn't know if it was that. Because the girl kept saying, like, Oh, we're from the mountain. We know how it is. Like, That's just the way of the mountain life or whatever. I was like, mm. I was like, what? <laughs> the mountain life? What the hell does that mean? But at the same time, like, they were drunk. The bump on this girl's head was so bad. It was a knot that big? It was huge. It was like this. Because when I looked at her, I saw a gash right here. She has a gash, a bump that has a cut on it. Her nose is f***ing cut up right here. Are you serious? Her chin was cut up. And then the side of her cheek was cut up. Damn, she got f***ed up. She got f***ed up. And that's what I can see. And she was wearing a sweater, so I couldn't see anything out. And that guy looked normal. The guy thinks that he broke his hand. Because he kept trying to grab, and he's like, it hurt. Is that a broken hand? I think he might have broken something. So maybe he was driving because... If you guys are holding a steering wheel like this, and God forbid, I, I've never crashed like that. God, Not knock like on that. wood. Knock on I never crashed. If you're driving like this and you hit something that hard, you think it broke something in his hand like that when he was holding the steering wheel? Maybe the airbag pushed it back or something. But if a, if an airbag pushes your hand back like this... Well, it'll go like up. Oh, it would break on here, maybe. Her face was cut up. So... So she probably hit the dash. She hit that sh there. Her mm -hmm. So she didn't have a seatbelt. And that's why I think they were going fast. So maybe they were coming down. Maybe they maybe were, they were coming, down. coming down and they hit that face of the mountain. You, did you see that big boulder that was just like Yeah, up, yeah. Right? That thing was huge. So there was... um. If I like... If I crouch down... I'm a six foot two person. If I crouch, I would be as big as the boulder that had broken off of the mountain. That had to have been at least like 200 pounds. A chunk. Damn. It looks like they just got this car. Because yeah, this is a new RAV4. Brand new. Alright guys, so if you want to hear more story time in the future, God forbid that anything like this ever happens to anybody. And then, you know, make sure if you guys are drinking, you stay home. Especially during the, the holidays. You don't want to risk any of this. You just want to have a drink, hang out with your family, and leave it as that. Don't drink and drive. Drink responsibly. And if you see people crashed over to the side, at least ask if they're okay. Yeah, don't You don't know how many people drove by and didn't even ask anything, which was pretty f***ed up. Yeah. Don't assume. Just ask. Because sometimes people could be, like, seriously hurt. Like, really hurt. You don't have to stop to help. Just, you know, like, hey, I'll call for help. Or... Or even if you get somewhere that you can get reception, call the cops and just tell them what happened. Don't be scared. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys liked this video. Go ahead, subscribe, like, and comment. Comment down below if you guys had anything like this happen to you in the past. Go ahead and like this video so I know that you guys want to see more vlogs from me. And then I'll see you guys in the next one. See you guys later.